Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we're going to do a quick 50,000 mile review of my 2015 Ram 1500. Alright guys, and the reason why we're doing this is because it's very difficult to find long-term reviews on vehicles, especially trucks. Uh, whenever I was out purchasing my vehicle, that was one of the, the big things I wanted to find was how would this vehicle last over the test of time. So this is kind of the reason why we're going to do this video and a series of vehicles. So as I own the vehicle and progress, I will be doing several follow-up videos on the truck. All right, we're going to start with an exterior walk around the vehicle. As you can see, it's been two years and the exterior still looks pretty amazing. Now, I know I should probably be hand washing my truck, um, but it's a truck, it's big. It's very time consuming to hand wash and I'm lazy. So I literally just, uh, I just take it through the, uh, the dry through wash. There's one close to my job. As you can see, they do a pr pretty good job. I pay 18 bucks a month for unlimited washes. And I mean that washing also includes a wax. So I try to wash the truck, you know, two to three times a week. So there's always a, you know, a good, nice coat of wax on it. Uh, but walking around the interior, you can see the, uh, the wheels are holding up good. They're not real chrome. They're kind of like that fake chrome cladding uh, that Chrysler puts on all of their vehicles. But uh, yeah, they look so far for 50,000 miles, they look pretty solid. These are still the original tires. As you can see, I do need tires pretty soon, but for 50,000 miles, these good years that came with are holding up pretty well. So let's continue the walk through, as you guys can see. Truck looks really, really good. Um, I still, you know, when I walk out to my truck after a long day at work, I still kind of, you know, have that happy owner feeling, you know, so that, uh, that feeling you get when you first get a vehicle, um, sometimes it does go away over time, but I am still, you know, very happy about the, the truck and the purchase. So everything's going pretty good. Uh, small scratches over here. That's because I was uh, putting a washer and dryer in here. So that's all on me, but just, you know, things that you expect when you have a truck, just normal, you know, small wear and tear, but for the most part, really, really happy and pleased with how the vehicle is holding up over the first 50,000 miles. Um, again, you know, the wheels look good, the tires look good. I'm, you know, really impressed the tires are lasting this long. Uh, the tread, it, you know, it's, it's almost time to get new tires, but they're still holding on for now. I actually just got an oil change earlier today and it passed all of the uh, multi-point inspections, which is always good and positive. Uh, but I will be, you know, upgrading tires on the truck probably within the next couple of months. But uh, yeah, just to let you know that, you know, as far as the interior goes, it is really sitting at this time. Texas can be, you know, pretty brutal on vehicles. We have pretty hot weather. Um, the paint polish, everything, you know, still holding up, still looking really, 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 really good. Uh, the design hasn't changed over the last couple of years. Um, I think upcoming in 2019, 2018, they will be making some changes to the front end, but they'll be minor. Uh, the really cool thing about Ram with in Mopar is you can actually change the grill you want. So this is the grill it came with, but if I wanted to uh, change the grill, I do have the capability of doing that. So yeah, overall, still really, really excited about the look. I still think it's a fresh, I think it's current and relevant as a, a look in the design. And I think it's aged a lot better than some of the competitors. Uh, some of the, you know, the uh, Chevys and the Fords have already done refreshes since 2015, but this Ram is holding strong.
All right, as you guys can see, the V6 does take up a substantially less amount of space than the V8 does. Uh, I'm gonna kind of give you guys just a, a better view. So the V6 is a lot smaller, which means it's a lot lighter. So uh, this vehicle is significantly lighter than the V8. Um, this is a very, very solid engine. It, it, it runs well. Uh, have had any problems or any complaints with it. I do think that Ram is doing themselves a disservice uh, with with the lack of marketing of this uh, 3.6 V6. It's a it's an amazing engine. I think you know for 70% of the people out there, this is the, the way to go. Um, this is a solid engine for people who aren't doing the, you know the daily towing. For people who aren't you don't have those those bigger needs. A lot of them are, you know, upgrading to the Hemi, which is a higher profit margin for, for Ram. Uh, but in reality, they could be getting this uh, 3.6 Pentastar, which is fantastic, uh, getting better fuel economy, um, and getting, you know, just an overall better value. Um, as you guys can see, at 50,000 miles, everything under the engine looks solid. It's performing solid. Uh, I do get all my uh, service done at the dealership. Um, to me, that's just important to have the documentation. I also recently did get the uh, lifetime warranty, so that's part of the reason why I do do everything at the dealership, uh, just so I have everything documented. Uh, all right, so one of the few complaints I do have with my 2015 Ram 1500 is gonna be this wearing of this outside material on the window. Now, I believe it's because of the car wash, the uh, hot temperature of the car wash. Um, so that's, you know, probably my fault, and I can definitely replace this. Uh, they also sell, like, a chrome, so I can replace the chrome or whatever I want to do with it. But uh, this is probably one of my only complaints. This, this is very frustrating, and it does take away from the exterior appeal. Um, yeah, I just wish that they could use the, either use a, a, a more durable material here or... Uh, do something because this shouldn't be happening at only 50,000 50, miles even though like I mentioned hey I'm putting it through a car wash which does use you know very high temperature so I can see how that could be my fault but there needs to be some type of resolution with this and I do want to take some time to point out that the seats are wearing fantastic uh, really good upholstering support there hasn't been uh, that wearing tree that you see now a lot of vehicles when you get to you know 50 75 hundred thousand miles You'll see the driver's seats get extremely worn, but uh, the material they're using and This is just the base model seats uh, is wearing nice. There are no tears no scratches. They're Holding up solid and uh, I mean you can see a lot of vehicles out there where the seats are completely torn up and worn out but I've been really impressed with just the uh, the quality of the upholstering inside this vehicle. And this is pretty close to a base model. It's the Lone Star SLT. Um, so not a lot of upgrades in it. Uh, and like I mentioned, these are base level seats, but they are holding up fantastic for the uh, two year mark, 50,000 mile mark. Now another thing to talk about as far as the endurance of vehicle is the weather rubber stripping that they have. As you can see, uh, over the last two years, 50,000 miles, it's holding up nice. These are just the, kind of the small details that people don't think about, um, but they do affect the experience. So you can see that, you know, they did use a very high quality rubber stripping. You can see it still looks really, really solid. Um, and those are the things that kind of matter, right? You don't want to, you know, be paying for a vehicle and have the rubber stripping wear out or you don't want to you know, make that final payment and realize that the small details of the vehicle are falling apart and I can definitely say with uh, this Ram that the small details like this are holding up solid so as you guys can see two years down the road the uh, interior of this vehicle still looks pr pretty great and like I mentioned before this is just the uh, the Lone Star so this isn't you know a high fancy expensive package this is a middle class anybody can afford this package you can see it's holding up really nice and well um the dash you know the upgraded ones you're gonna get leather stitching all the other stuff this is 
but this is just kind of the base model package but you can see it still looks really good um, it's holding up really nice over time um, I still think that this design rivals a lot of the competitors um, and that's my opinion right so uh, one of the big reasons why I did get this vehicle is because I, I, I thoroughly fell in love with the technology so as you can see uh, here, here are my trips you can go trip A, this is trip B, the audio information, and I can go through the different things like that. Stored messages. Uh, the only message I've ever really gotten was once when my uh, brake light went out. Um, speedometer, you can change it by having a miles per hour. Uh, here's the vehicle info, which is pretty helpful. So you can see I just got an oil change today. Um, so I'm good on that. Vehicle information. Engine time, so you know, I've spent 1,188 miles driving and 97 miles idling. Uh, you can see the tire information and the transmission information. So, just a really, really, really nice uh, tack right in front of you. I really do, I typically have this screen up when I'm driving so I can see my instant fuel economy. But you know, it's just a very, very vibrant screen and very visually appealing. Uh, to the eye. So guys, as, as far as taking care of the interior, all I do is I use these Armor All cleaning wipes. I think this value pack from Walmart was like four or five bucks. Uh, I you literally just use two or three wipes each time. And I only wipe down the interior maybe once a month, uh, maybe once every two months. Uh, it's very low maintenance, and that's kind of one of the benefits of getting a like a, a base model vehicle. Uh, if you have leather seats and all the extra, you know, expensive interior options, you're going to, you know, be spending a lot more time and money taking care of that because when you have leather seats, you got to take care of them. But when you have, you know, cloth seats, which I always recommend in Texas because everyone knows that it's super hot in Texas, uh, simply bust out the armor all wipes, uh, wipe it down. As you can see, it works good. It keeps the steering wheel, you know, extremely nice and glossy it keeps the dash looking really good and it's a very low maintenance interior all right so real quickly we're going to walk through the moroni so this is a 2015 ram 1500 i purchased it uh, march 15th of 2015 so right now it is july 2017 so it's been roughly two years and four months since i purchased this vehicle uh, the base price for this vehicle is 35.6. The total price what they suggest is 39.280. I paid $30,400 for the vehicle. Uh, I did roll in the taxes and I think I had like $1,000 negative equity. So my total loan was, I think, $34,000. Uh, two years down the road, I owe $20,000. So my goal is paid off in the next two years. Uh, so right now, once again, my loan is $20,000 left in the vehicle. And I looked up the KBB earlier today, and the KBB value is, I think, $22,500 or $23,000. So somewhere in that range, depending on if you can negotiate. And that's the uh, the dealer price. So if I were to sell it private party, I can get a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so really good value. I do think, I do think that uh, the discounts they give you up front help with uh, not taking a lot of negative equity. Uh, other vehicles where you don't get the discounts, uh, like a Ford or a Chevy up front, those people are probably going to be underwater pretty quickly. Uh, but, you know, people in Rams typically are not going to be underwater on their loans. Uh, so real quickly, this is a 3.6 V6, 8-speed uh, transmission, XM radio. I do have the uh, upgraded screen, the 8.4-inch uh, Uconnect screen. Um... You know, it's pretty pretty straightforward uh, vehicle. This is a 3.2 uh, wheel axle ratio, so this is geared more towards fuel economy and not towards uh, towing. So I have towed once before, but uh, I'm not a big tow person. Now let's talk about the EPA ratings and what I'm actually getting. So the EPA is going to rate this on an average of 20 miles per gallon mix, 520 per tank. I do think the 520 per tank is pretty accurate, and that's typically what I'm getting. Uh, as far as day-to-day -day driving, normally 
with Nick City, and I do probably way more city than I do highway, getting around 19 in a city. When I do go on the highway, uh, trips to Houston or Austin or San Antonio, uh, it does increase uh, depending on how fast I'm going. So if I am driving, you know, in the 80 mile, 80 plus, you know, range, the fuel economy is going to be closer to 20, 21. If I'm driving in the 65, 70 range, the fuel economy is going to go up to the 23, 24. Now, I have seen 25 uh, going downhill uh, at a lower rate. But um, so, the, yeah, they do push 25, and it's possible, but it's probably not going to happen that often. So, just being 100% transparent with you guys. But yeah, here it is. These are all the details of the vehicle. Uh, very solid vehicle, very solid option package, and they offer fantastic discounts on these Rams. All right, guys, overall, I'm extremely impressed with this 2015 Ram 1500. It's been 50,000 miles so far, and I really do enjoy the vehicle. I have zero buyer's remorse about getting this vehicle. Uh, it took me a long time to decide about this. I was debating between the, the Ford and the Chevy, and even the Nissan Titan, but at the end of the day, I did choose the Ram, and I can uh, happily say that I don't regret that choice at all. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this uh, video. If you like it, please hit the thumbs up. If you have any questions about the Ram 1500 or questions about my experience with the truck, go ahead and leave those below. If you like this uh, vehicle review, please go ahead and sub to the channel, guys. Thanks a lot and have a great day.